Now, one of the most intriguing perspective for the container apps is that uh, how it is priced. Now, what now this is very interestingly priced by Microsoft Azure. Now, this is the pr official pricing that Microsoft Azure has to offer us. So we are basically charged on the basis of the if, if in the aspect of virtual CPUs, we will be charged on the basis that 180,000 seconds of our CPU usage per month will be free and 360,000 seconds of our memory users will be free. And if we go over that, we will pay 0.000024 dollars per second over a million. So container apps basically is built combined on the number of requests that our application receives. So the free grant per month that Microsoft Azure container app has to offer is 2 million. The two first 2 million requests on each month on our application will be free. And if we go over that, we will pay according to per million. And that is you can see very less price of 0 0.40 dollars per million. So it is a very good and flexible pricing that Microsoft offers us. If anyone wants to get started with the microservices and containers deployment, you can easily get started with the Azure Container app without uh, managing about the without worrying about that it is going to cost you big time. No, it is not going going to cost you big time. As you have seen that how flexible our pricing model gets with Azure Container apps. So let's have a now to understand everything. It is important to have a scenario where we can uh, compare our two resources where we can actually in. We can actually understand it that what is happening in real time. So let's say you have an application. Uh, you have an e commerce application that is of the intermediate level that there is that. No, it is not of the business and uh, business level application. It is an application that receives over 100,000 or 200,000 million requests, uh, 200,000 requests per uh, month, then what will you do? Let's say in this scenario, we can use basic plan for Azure container apps. Let's say we are using our minimum resources or we are using one vCPU and one GB of memory and the pricing for the basic plan is $0.017 per hour. And if you have two replicas that are up and running continuously for 30 days, now what happens What with your pricing model is that it costs you $24.48 per month. Now, definitely we will not be, uh, th that is one of the key aspect of the Azure Container Apps that we will not be running our containers 24 by 7 for the 30 days because their application has definitely will have some inactivity phase when there is literally no request coming to your uh, container and it, it will get even less than that. Now let's say you have a containerized application and microservices deployed on Azure Kubernetes service. Now here we are talking about the application that has not a, a larger scope that we have that has an intermediary scope and let's say you deploy it on AKS. Now what Azure Kubernetes service serverless will have it will give a hundred percent uptime. That means hundred percent uptime means that basically your replicas and servers are running 24 by 7 and they are running at any time of the day and you have two replicas. Let's say with the smaller instances on the Azure Kubernetes service, it will cost us $52.56 per month as it is an ima uh, imaginary calculated scenario. So you can see some of the price difference from that, that when we move from when we move our intermediate application from AKS to container apps, it will definitely help you save some cost. <laughs> 